Now I know why Sasa Sanctuary is such a big tourist trap. Look at it. The inn is protected by a wall of bamboo. That isn't a wall of bamboo. That is a gigantic stalk of bamboo. That means however many feet this is wide, I'm guessing maybe 300 feet wide, there was a stalk of bamboo that was 300 feet wide. Now that's some serious bamboo. No hotel in the history of the world can top that. I don't care where the hotel is, unless it's underwater. In that case, maybe. But I don't think there are any underwater hotels. So this hotel is instantly, or in, is instantly the best one ever made. Seriously, I am convinced this is the best hotel in the world. Seriously. How many times I've said seriously, I have no idea. But I'm going to stop now. Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin, and welcome back to Pal Plays Okami. Last episode, we, uh, we rescued Chun, who was in the ca captivity of the Cutter family, and returned her to the Sparrow King's possession. <laughs> the Sparrow King, that is not his name, but I just made, a, made it his name, so it's automatically now the official name of this guy. So anyway, we brought, a, brought her back to him, and he opened the Sparrow Inn gates to us. So now we can access Sparrow Inn. And now it's an open for business, because it wasn't before. Everyone was on high alert because, the, uh, because his daughter was missing. So now everyone can go in, and now they can start making money again. So let's go ahead and go in and uh, see what this place has to offer. Here it is. We are in it, and it has sparrows, so it is immediately a sparrow inn. Let's start talking to these people. Servant. Ah, <sighs> that's another month in the red. It's bad enough not having any guests, but closing the place. That's not good. And you, ma'am. I'm hoping you're a ma'am. Mistress. Good, okay, it is a ma'am. Welcome to Sparrow Inn. I'm a hostess here. Let us know if there's anything you need. I will certainly do that. Thank you. Wonderful service, except for the rats. The rats are no good. Unless they're like pets, but even then, they should be white. If you have a pet rat, it should be white. I don't care what you say. It should be albino. Also, this guy's walking through here. This, the boss is horrible with numbers, but he's got a big heart. That's why everyone goes along with him. Also, I'm being pushed around by a, a rat. Let me go and feed these. I didn't really notice it before, but this has really catchy mu music. This area has a really good theme. Listen to it for a moment. Da, 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 And it's pretty good. Also, my off-key singing. Love it. Okay, uh, servant. Oh, there's so much to do. Out of my way, please. So much to do, aka swimming in ovals. Oh. 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 Ahem. W welcome. This is Sasa Sanctuary's long-running Sparrow Inn. Yes, welcome. You're the one who rescued Young Chun, Young Chun, aren't you? It was chaos here for a while when she suddenly vanished like that. Thank goodness she's safe now. Oh yes, thank goodness. <laughs> he sounds kind of like he's not sincere about that comment because she was a little bit of a brat. The inn's open again now that Chun's home. That old bamboo craftsman came back like a shot. Oh, so Mr. Bamboo's back. Interesting. Okay, uh, where we're supposed to go is down that way and then ultimately up this elevator. But I would like to go into the residence rooms because that interests me. I want to see what kind of people are here. Also, food? No, okay. Let me go in. In. Get it. In. Ha! I, I, I made a pun. Oh, Camuso. How are you doing, Camuso? Oh, for the record, uh, rats eat meat. Just, just so you guys know. And they don't give you hardly any praise, so... Yeah, but every little bit counts. Uh, let me go and power slash this watermelon, and then talk to this sparrow. Servant. Oh, it is you, isn't it? You're the one who rescued Chun. How dare you? <laughs> Camuso. Aha, my old friend, the white wolf. I've heard there was a good in here, so I came to take a look. And it really is a fine place, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. Also, that's the first normal conversation we've ever had. Every other time you're saying, look behind you now, or you have this many trees to bloom before you are a part of NUR forums. Because he totally said that. I'm not making that up. Also, let me hit you. Heavens above! You better cut that out, furball. Uh, make me. Uh, goodbye. Parting gift. <laughs> ah! Uh, I love that. They fly everywhere. Alright, next room! Food! You consumed sauce sauce egg rolls. Flavorful egg dish fills astral pouch. Sauce sauce cake. Delicious cake bursting with beans. Sauce sauce fruit. Tiny yet full of flavor. Fills astral pouch. I'm Billy Mays with Okami here talking about our new food. <laughs> Merchant. Well, I sure ended up in a funny place this time. Maybe the gods are telling me to rest. I have been working hard. But a trader never rests. That's the salesman's curse. So if you're, you've are you been sent to buy something, pup, take a look. Do some shopping? Yes, I will. I don't know why I'm speaking in that voice. I just feel like it. Let me go and sell off some of my treasures. And let me go and restock on some of my feed bag. Oh, I'm selling stuff. Let me go and restock on some of my feed bags. And that is it. He, he has nothing else that I want. He has some holy bone M's, but I don't, I don't think I've... Yeah, I've never even used a holy bone M. So, yeah, I think I'm good there. I have everything I really need. I don't have any exorcism slip, slip M's or L's, but... Uh, they're useful, but I'm really saving for that uh, Infinity Judge weapon at uh, Kusa Village. So, I want to pinch my pennies right now, or my yen. Now, uh, this, this Daruma statue, just like the other one that we encountered last episode, we want to dot the eye, and this one will give us a stray bead. Really cool. We have an, a stray bead, and we weren't even trying. Da 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 <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> this music's too catchy. I should, like, turn my headset volume down. Oh, I'm so bored. I'm just killing time, really. I haven't, e I haven't got any work to do at all. Also, I really do hope that my impression of a yawn made a couple of you guys yawn, because it actually has been scientifically proven that yawns are contagious. I'm not joking at all. Okay, in this place, wow, this guy's chowing down. It's him! It's got to be him! Okay. When I was just a girl, a hunter came to my aid when I was injured. I never imagined it was the same hunter would be staying here as a guest. I I must make sure he has everything he wants. Everything! Oh, so that's why this guy's eating so well. That's, that's really nice of her. Also, I recall a story in Japanese mythology. I can't tell you guys what story this is because I just bumped into it and I just can't find it again. Um, but it's like the story of a hunter who finds a sparrow. It's not uh, Shita Kuri Suzume. It's a different one that has to do with a hunter, and I believe that this is referencing that, so that's very interesting that she would talk about that. Okay. Sasa rice. Also, this is making me hungry. Look at this. Sasa meat. Luxurious and hearty red meat. Sasa crab. Dish showcasing a whole crab. Sasa hodgepodge. Marinated and simmered vegetables. Sasa dumplings, prepared with the utmost care, fills Astro Pouch. It's so delicious sounding. I want all of this food. It makes me want to go to a, like a Chinese or Japanese or teriyaki or sushi restaurant. I've actually never had sushi, but <laughs> this game wants me, makes me want to have it. Whoa, now there are wolves serving here? Yep, this sure is a strange inn, but the food is just great. Maybe I'm dreaming. I mean, an inn run by sparrows? Yeah, it's almost as if it's an anthology. Also, what is this? I can't... Wait, can I go first person? No, I can't. But there's a statue here that I want to know what it is. Well, it gives me stuff, so let me go ahead and leave. Now that I have that stuff. Hardly any of this is... Re actually, none of these rooms are required. I just want to go in them because they're interesting. Did we go in... Oh, wait, no. We went in those rooms, but we have yet to go in this one. So let's go in here. This one is empty, and it has one of those statues, which I can't examine, which is sad. And it has some stuff I can power slash. And some oranges out of this shamisen. What a beautifully kept shamisen! 
boy, I'd love to hear a song or two from this baby. I wonder if you come back later if anyone's going to be here playing this, because it's funny how they just put this in this empty room. Also, I love the fact that they mentioned Shamizen in the game, because I had mentioned that. The game doesn't, so I'm glad that they talked about that. This is... This game is really just teaching me a lot of Japanese culture, which I, is not a bad thing by any means. Also, the, these chairs are on the ground, which I've noticed a lot of Japanese, uh, a lot of the Japanese I have seen like to sit on the ground. It's just something I've noticed in in Super Smash Brothers tournaments. Whenever there's a Japanese player, he will be sitting on the ground. About 70% of the time, they will. I don't know why. Maybe they just do, uh, don't like have a fear of of. I don't want to say I don't have a fear of germs like we do because that makes them sound like they're like they're in a third world country or something. But maybe they just have a closer connection with nature than we do, so they're fine with sitting closer to it. That's probably it. That makes that makes the most sense and also is the least offensive explanation. Because anything I could think of, even if I have no offensive intentions at all. Pretty much it could be thought of as offensive. Sort of like gutter speak, you know? I could say literally anything, and someone could say I'm, I am speaking in the gutter, which is dumb. That's why I choose to ignore a lot of things that I say, that could, or things that society says could be taken as, like, something bad. So I just ignore that because I don't like the fact that that is ruining perfectly good words. Anyway, that's just my rant on that. Let's go ahead and go outside, now that we've t gone in all those rooms. Uh, let's... this area is interesting. We're outside. Are we outside the bamboo walls? It's looking like it. Also, there's something up there. Yeah, we're outside the bamboo walls. Okay, so this is around the... map. The east side of Sasa Sanctuary, or the Sparrow Inn. Uh, examine. The gate shut tight. Hmm, doesn't look like it's locked. How in the world are we supposed to open this thing? Like that. You notice how he, he didn't say how in the world. I, I just put that in. So, you know, I just like doing that. I don't know. I mean, the game is rated T, but that doesn't mean my commentary should be. I guess that's my that's my whole opinion on that. Uh, a hole? That is a deep hole. Can I jump in it? No, I can't. I can land on top of it, which is strange. Can I put a cherry bomb on it? Yes. Huh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and talk to this person. I couldn't talk to him. But he flew away. Literally, he flew. I excuse me. Wait a minute, please. This is Sasa ba Bathhouse, Sparrow Inn's famous natural hot spring. But I'm afraid the water's run out. We're closed at the moment. What do you mean there's no hot water? This is a hot spring, ain't it? It happened the other day. There was a sort of earthquake. I thought I heard a monster roar. Then the water just stopped flowing all of a sudden. Earthquake and a monster roar? I wonder if it's that disturbance where everything went black. Ever since, ever since then, I've been praying for the water to return. But it's not showing any signs of springing up again. Get it, spring? <laughs> Never before in the history of the Sasa bathhouse has this happened. I'm so sorry you've come all this way to be just to be disappointed. I blame myself. I must beat myself with my own fried drumsticks. <laughs> oh, that's a punishment. Hey, cut that out. We hate taking baths anyway. Speak for yourself. I personally love baths. Please, start again. I prayed and prayed and prayed, but the water still won't flow. This is it. The end of Sasa Bathhouse. It's dried up now. What would my ancestors think? So his whole family has worked at this bathhouse. That's... Impressive. Beating myself with my own fried drumsticks will be a fitting end. I already told you, we don't take baths, right, Furball? Isun is not really making the situation any better. Oh, the smell ba of this bamboo sure brings back memories. The bamboo from Sasa Sanctuary smells like no other. I can't wait to get started making my bamboo wear. I must finish in time for the festival. Hey, it's the old bamboo dude. You walk just like Mr. Orange, looking like you have so much arthritis you should be in a wheelchair. Oh, hello, little- uh, hello, Wolfie, little sprite. Thank you for all your help. Ever since you found the Sparrow's missing daughter, entries to Sasa Sanctuary has been possible again. 
I wish I could thank you somehow. Is there something you've been having trouble with? Trouble? No. But that sparrow over there seems to have a problem. Oh, what's wrong, little sparrow? Please, leave me alone. I have to put things right. I won't set a bad example for the others. If I sacrifice my flesh to the gods, they will revive the spring. He's burning himself alive. Here we go again. You wish to revive the, this dried up hot spring? I may be of some assistance in that case. Whoa, what was that? I don't have to burn my face off? This bamboo tube on my back reacts to underground minerals. I should be able to easily detect where the hot spring water is. You sure about that, Gramps? Yep, my bamboo wear never lies. That's a strange saying. First, I'll need some help. Now be a good wolfie and dig me a hole. It'll be fun. Like a game? Help dig up the hot spring? Yes! <laughs> Thank you, both of you. Very well, I'll explain the hot spring digging game. When the game begins, I'll start walking around. Your job is to rapidly dig so I can get deep in the ground. But be careful, many dangers lurk underground. I'll focus on walking, so I won't be able to avoid any danger. And if I get hurt too badly, I won't be able to play anymore. But if I'm able to get deep underground, I'll show you where the hot spring water will bubble up. Shall I explain it again? No! Very well then, let the hot spring game... It's hot spring digging game begin. So, what you want to do is, it is a side scroller. It's not 3D at all, although that'd be interesting. And we have this, uh, so we should press the C button rapidly, dig through rocks, although we can only dig through light brown and brown ones. Oh uh, wait, no, sorry. Light brown and, uh, chocolate ones. But the dark brown ones with the, with the crack, we have to power slash. Next, uh, we should, if we see any black ones, we cannot dig through those unless told otherwise specifically by Mr. Bamboo. But there's only one of those, so you don't have to worry. Spiked ones, if you hit them, they will cause you to lose uh, five seconds on the on the counter. Yes, you are timed for this. And if Mr. Bamboo hits them, you also lose time. If you see a a Konohana bud, you're supposed to bloom it because it will give you a 20 second time bonus. Uh, yes, there's a time limit, like I just said. And like I just said, you want to bloom Konohana buds. You want to bloom Konohana buds and get extra time. And also, you want to power slash those rocks like I said also cracked ones you can you can use cherry bomb on and if you circle Mr. Bamboo he will run faster and that is it Let, let's go ahead and get started so uh let's make sure he doesn't run the wrong direction he isn't so let's go ahead and bloom this while we're digging this so he doesn't run into anything and we're going to jump back up here and hit and hit and power slash I want to go this way because while it is the long way around you can actually get a small reward for it. Let me go and bloom this bud. Bloom this bud. There we go. And get a 20 second bonus. And dig through here. And cherry bomb. Cherry bomb. And let me go and power slash that one. And uh, I can't do another cherry bomb. Blow up, thank you. And dig. Okay, digging. And the reward I mentioned is actually money. So you can get some money from this. And power slash these two at once. Hit this one. Hit it again. Power slash. And fall down here. Power slash just this one. And go down here. And we can dig through this. And the route is clear for him. Let me go ahead and once I get my ink back, I'll go ahead and hit this. Hit up this cracked one to get some time. Time. There we go. We have plenty of time for him to do this, and let me go ahead and circle him. Run. There we go, and dig. This is the one he tells us to dig into, and we will, and it will revive the spring, and we will all drown. There it is. Actually, we didn't drown. It pushed us up, which is very kind of the spring to do so. Water! Water! 
The water's flowing again! See? I told you, my bamboo wear never lies. Well done, Ami. So apparently he stayed above ground. Thank you, both of you. I'll never forget this. You both have free access to the bathhouse whenever you want. That was... that's sweet. <laughs> Mr. Bamboo's all excited and Ami's like, no, baths. <laughs> oh, I'll dance the hot spring hop forevermore. Yeah, look at him go. Bo! Do! Do! Disco ba! Ba! Look, Ami. It's happening again. Oh, snap. New celestial brush technique. Welcome to the next level of Cherry... It's actually not. It, it looks like Cherry Bomb, but it is actually... Poor snake. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I have remained hidden here, creeping along the water's surface. I, Nuragami, god of water, am happy to bestow upon you my power. Moisten the thirsty earth and restore the glory of nature. This power is a long time coming, because now we can deal with those burning chests. Nuragami? Oh, that's the god of water. That must mean you got the water spout brush technique. Ouch! Hot, hot, hot! Fire! I'm on fire! No, that the front fried drumsticks were a bad idea. Lucky for you, Ami needs some practice. Ami, try to put that fire out with the power of water spout. Water spout is a brush technique that harnesses the power of water. Place your brush over water, then draw a line. The water's power will pass into the line, creating a stream. But enough talk, you better try it before it becomes a crispy critter. Put your brush on that hot spring, then draw a line to the sparrow. He could just jump in the water. I don't know, maybe sparrows just can't swim. So, we should help him. So let me go ahead and draw everywhere, and fill up more of the game's processing power by putting a lot of tech of polygons on screen at once. Excellent! No fried sparrow for you, but at least you get, a, get you can make a stream. But the power of water spout doesn't ta stop there. See that bubbling water in the middle of the hot spring? That's called a power, a power spring. Water power is concentrated there. If you draw a line straight up from that bubbling water, I bet you can make, you can create an amazing column of water. And they want us to do that too. Vertical line, up. There it is. We have a geyser. That's what I'm talking about. Now you can control power springs. Whoa! Do you see that jump? Hey, I didn't know I could, you could do that. How did... Okay, how could she do that? She jumped 30 or 50 feet in the air. Let's draw a water column whenever we see a power spring. Yeah, we'll do that, but whoa! I can't jump that high normally. Why should you? <laughs> Even though you're the same person as what I was talking about. Can I blow that up? Not sure. But we have some praise right here. Or, uh, clover, rather. Let me go ahead and bloom this. And, five praise. Anything else up here? No. Let's go ahead and jump down. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Also, I did a little wave dash thing there. Now, what we can do is draw water from here with this new brush technique into the bamboo fountain and make it flow. And does that do anything? Oh, that opens that gate. But we're not actually going to go into that just yet. I would like to go see the boss sparrow. So let's go do that before we go through that gate. All right, let's go ahead, go up here, take a hard right and go into the elevator and go up to the boss sparrow. Camera? Whoa! 
What? <laughs> Treasure trove much? Uh, I'm gonna talk to him before I harvest these chests, because for all I know, I might get insta-killed for stealing. I don't know. But that's a lot of chests! We've been waiting for you. You did a great f job finding Chun. We want to thank you, too. When I told Pop about everything you did, he was really surprised, I'll bet. Weren't you, Pop? Sherp. Jumba. Uh-oh. The boss is... very impressed with you. I like how they say uh-oh every single time. We want to give you everything in those baskets as a reward. Oh snap, that's so good. You can rest down in the at the inn down below. I should have come here first, I guess. And the hot spring behind the inn is great for relaxing. Yeah, I should probably should have come here first, but uh, hindsight is 2020, so yeah, meh, it's fine. Uh, let me go ahead and do all this at once. No, once. Let's go ahead and do that before those get to us. There we go. Uh, fly to me? No. Okay. Steel soul. Dragonfly bead. Uh, steel fist sake. Vase, which are worth a lot of money. Those are worth a lot of money. Uh, exorcism slip S. Nice. I'm hoping some more money, some more sellables, as I put, as I called them before, because I want money. Holy bone ass. Eh, not that good. Uh, Wooden Bear, I believe those sell for a lot. Uh, a Traveler's Charm, that's really good. And what's this? Glass Beads. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff. That's that's a really good reward. Thank you, guys. Wow. Sure. <laughs> Uh-oh. The boss is very impressed. Yeah, meh. Which, it's actually cool that I got all these presents, because my birthday was just recently. Very recently, in fact. I am now... 17 years of age. Yeah! My own YouTube channel and 56 subscribers, 17 years of age, for the win. For the glorious win. So, before I progress, well, not before I progress, but before I end it off, rather, I'm actually going to be going into that bamboo grove, since whenever I do, like, a talking episode like this, I do like to give you guys a little bit more, so you see a lot of progress, so we're not kind of awkwardly starting out the episode with one thing and the talkables uh, genre, and then going on to something else. I kind of like to keep episodes to one particular subject and one goal, and that goal is finding the canine warrior, which I want to do. So, let's go up here. Because if you look at the map, the circle that Fusei drew, drew on our map is right up here, so we should have the canine warrior. Also, I'm going to feed these. Neat, for praise. I might actually upgrade my stuff at the end of this episode. I am thinking that I will. It's been a long time since I've upgraded, and I'm starting to feel the burn of that. Wait. Are you crying? What are you... What? Ty. Tweet! Tweet! Whoa, get a load of Tweety here. <laughs> hey, what's with all the chirping, kid? D don't call me kid. I have a name, you know. It's Ty. I'm not chirping. I'm crying. Tweet! Tweet! That's sad. Cry, baby. Ty. Maybe not so sad. Oh, you're crying. So what's all with that freaky cry of yours? T Take's lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. Tweet! Tweet! That's getting annoying. Who's Take? Is he a friend of yours? He's my dog. I lost my dog. Oh, dog. Tweet! No, I'm gonna stop doing that. <laughs> That's just annoying. And the canine tracker magically appears out of the sky. And it's going not really nuts, but it's appeared, so it's cool. That must mean... What's it freaking out about? Where is it leading us? Just a sec. Let me go and feed these. Let me go and feed these birds before I leave. And this is a little bit more than I bargained for, but I am going to fulfill my word. I'm going to follow through with my word, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to find the canine thing. Dog. Bro. Literally, dog. I'm tr going to find the dog. Also, fog much. Draw distance. Okay, bamboo grove. Whoa, tiger. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that tigers are friendly. Let's go ahead and feed them meat. And for some reason, I'm not cutting out, cutting this out. I guess I'm trying to make the episode as long as possible for no particular reason. Ten praise. Not too shabby. Hmm. Uh, you see what I see on me? Unless I'm hallucinating or something. 
That bamboo over there looks like it's flashing. What is going on? Maybe we'll find something interesting inside if we cut it down. Couldn't we just cut everything down? Like... That? <laughs> no, no. You're supposed to cut down the bamboo that's lit up. Why? It's so obvious. Why? Uh, it's that one. Bingo! Why were we supposed to do just that one? I don't know. What's a dog doing in there? I don't know. Maybe the same thing that the other dog was doing. Tweet? <laughs> Take? <laughs> Take's back. Also, Take is arguably the coolest dog yet. What's wrong, boy? Why are you growling? Tweet? Wait a minute. Was it this white wolf who spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Hey, wait. I think this flea bag's trying to say something. Hmm? White wolf? I'm gonna give this guy the coolest voice of all the dogs. What right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and, and prove that you are worthy. Yeah, that's a cool voice. Canine warrior. Gee. You hear that, Ami? This must be one of the canine warriors. That canine tracker really set him off. What'll it be, Ami? Pick a fight? Yes. Okay, you sure you're ready? Don't hold back now. Let's fight Gi. Probably the hardest canine battle yet. Also, I'm sorry that this episode's running a tad long, but it, as soon as I fight him, he'll be, it'll be over. Uh, let me go ahead and fight! Oh, snap. My fleet foot technique didn't work there. Uh, attack. Jump! Oh, that was close. Okay, let me go ahead and get some good damage here. And let me go ahead and use my Exorcism Slip S, because this guy's running. There. That'll do it. And... There we go. That was good damage. Jump! Okay, good. And attack. And he's going to jump any second. And... Do this. And do that. Oh, he's doing a multi-attack. Uh, let me go ahead and stall in the air. And hit him. One, two, three, four, and... There we go. Camera. Uh, let me go ahead and hit him with another Exorcism Slip S. There we go. And that should weaken him again. One, two, three, and... Four? One, two, three... I sound like I'm doing aerobics. Also, he hit me. Whoa, jump! Oh, that was close. That was super close. Uh, hit. Don't. Get over here. Oh, that was close. And aerial attack, good. That was very good. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and... Actually, I'm going to swap out real quick my equipment to a sub-rosary because that'll help me a little bit. Jump! That was cool. That was so cool. Two, three, four. And... Good. Come here. Nice. Flea foot is actually a really good technique. I never used it in my runs, but it's super good. Like, it's just a good panic button. And gone. That battle actually went a lot smoother. I don't think I got a good ranking on time, but on damage, I got the best rating. And rating... Yeah, I got a horrible time, just because this game is weird with time. But, I got a great damage rating. Cut it out. Leave him alone. I won't allow you to bully Take like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. Wait a sec, Tweety. You're not... We're not bullying anybody. Right, you flea bag? Come on, say something. I know Princess Fuse summons me. It was my duty to, to defeat Crimson Helm, defile, a defiler of Gale Shrine. But I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun Sasa Sanctuary without me. And the Sparrow Tribe, they will all be... Oh, what shall I do? You obtained Duty Orb. What's this? The Power Orb has chosen you. I needn't worry no longer. I shall remain here and battle the monsters for the Sparrow Tribe. Even separated, the hearts of the Canine Warriors beat as one. Huh? Hey, wait a second. What do you mean, wait a second? The Power Orb has chosen you. I am now freed from my duty. Follow where your heart leads. Huh? Okay, whatever. I suppose it'll, it'll all make sense eventually. So, it seems he can't join the rest. And it also seems like this episode's way over time. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and next time in Okami, I'm going to nab a stray bead, which I just looked at, and you guys can uh, determine where that is. And I'm going to feed these tigers in the end slate, but anyway, next time, we will be seeking out the other canines. We have two more, one in Agata Forest and one in Kamiki Village. It seems like we're done here, so we should be able to head to Agata Forest. See you guys next time for another exciting episode. And yes, I mean exciting. I love this episode. Maybe I just love Okami. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time for another exciting episode of Okami on either a Tuesday, a Thursday, or a Saturday. If you like this episode, then comment in the comment section. See you guys next time.